All right, guys, here we are. We are in the final minute of the Houston Rocket versus Utah Jazz game three matchup. Houston is up by two. This game has been crazy. James Harden has shot absolutely terrible. Started the game 0-14, but in the fourth quarter, he has come alive. Rudy Gobert has blocked everything at the rim. Donovan Mitchell has like 30 points. It has been a chaotic game. Chris Paul has played the entire fourth quarter with five fouls. James Harden has five fouls, and it's a two-point game with 42 seconds left. Everything's crazy. Everything's been hectic, and Utah is trying to steal this game three. They are trying to defend home court and get back in this series. But, man, James Harden, bro, I... <sighs> It came out and you disappointed me. I, I mean, we'll have to see if you can close this game. But I did say, I made a video earlier saying that Harden was going to have a big second half. He was going to go off, have a big second half, and get this team to win. But we're going to have to see. Houston is off by two, and Harden did hit a huge th three to give them a four, actually to give them a yeah, four-point lead before Donovan Mitchell went up and got a, a tough layup and made a two-point game. Now James Harden's at the free throw line once again. To try to increase this lead to four. Oh boy. Okay, he makes the free throws. First one. You know, James Harden, for all we talk about, oh my gosh, Rudy Gobert. Is Rudy Gobert okay? He got hit, poked in the eye. For all we talk about James Harden, he is just spectacular at free throws. Maybe because he gets a lot of practice, who knows. But, oi, Vey, this is, this is coming down to the wire. Can Houston hold on and take game three on the road? Or is Utah going to find a way to win and get back in this series? Donovan Mitchell has been doing everything for this team. They give him the ball. 40 seconds left on the clock. They're going to have to score fast. Mitchell, Mitchell, he's trapped. He's trapped. Wait, he's going for it. He gets fouled. That was a foul, man. What are you complaining for? PJ, what are you complaining for? That was a foul. So, why is Mike D'Antoni complaining too? That was a foul. Look at this. Actually, wait. Actually, that was not a foul. Hold up. Wait. It, it was not a foul. My bad. PJ, you're right to be mad. Mike D'Antoni, you're right to be mad. Bruh, PJ Tucker had his hands up like this. Donovan Mitchell's trying to initiate that contact. There was... He didn't even touch him. That was not a foul. My bad. I apologize on camera to you, PJ Tucker. You did not foul him. But yeah, Donovan Mitchell's had a rough night shooting the ball. He's 9 of 26 on the field, but he's got 31 points. Actually, he's got 33 points. My bad. And the second free throw, that's 34 points. It is a two-point game. 33 seconds left on the clock. Houston is going to have to find a way to close this game. Utah, you've got plenty of chance to tie this game. Just hold on. Play good defense. You guys have been stuffing these guys at the rim. You've been forcing them to take tough shots. I mean, they've had a lot of open shots, but they've just missed it. Harden has the ball. Eight seconds on the clock. Rubio's all over him. Harden for three. He can't hit it once again. Oh, my God. Come P.J. Tucker. Oh my God, P.J. Tucker. He gets the offensive rebound. And they have to foul him. With 10 seconds left on the clock. Oh, oh P.J. Tucker just comes out of nowhere and grabs that offensive rebound. Credit to him. Now he's going to the free throw line. He's going to have to hit both to give them a two possession lead. Can he do it? And he makes the first one. It's a three-point game. Utah still has two timeouts left. They're probably going to call one here. And Rubio has just come out of the game. Oh, boy, this is tough. This is tough. This is tough. This is what great teams do. Utah's going to have to find a way to close this, man. They're going to have to find a way to win this game. They can't. It's game three. If they lose this game, the series is over. Because they're not coming back from a 3-0 deficit. P.J. Tucker misses the second one. They got a rebound. Timeout. Mitchell gets the rebound. They'll be able to advance the ball. Three-point game. Ten seconds left on the clock. Oh, Lord. They don't have a chance to tie this game. We may be going to overtime, ladies and gentlemen. We may be going to overtime. Now, if it was me, I'm actually looking for 
I would love to say Donovan Mitchell because he's been on fire, but I think I'm actually going to look for Joe Ingles on this last one because you need a three to score. And I know Joe Ingles, he can get you a three. He can get you a clutch three. I understand Donovan Mitchell is great and all. He's a star of the team, but the dude has been quite rough shooting the ball. 9-26 in the field. I'm looking for Joe Ingles on this play to give us a tie three because I believe he can make that shot. But Utah needs is bad, man. If they're going to have any chance of coming back in the series... Most of us believe this series is already going to be over, and Houston knows they need to sweep them because Golden State lost to the Clippers in what, I think game two, yeah, they lost in game two to the Clippers, so Houston would love to get a sweep and be able to have that extra rest time before they have to face off against Golden State, because that one's going to be a brutal battle, so they need the rest. But, oh, man, this, this has been a crazy game. Harden's just having the worst shooting night of his career. CB3 is playing a whole quarter with five fouls and has not fouled out. Donovan Mitchell has been crazy for this team. Despite the fact he's been shooting quite poorly from the field overall in the game, he's been hitting some clutch shots down the field in this down, down the stretch of this fourth quarter. It's just crazy everywhere, man. Tough clutch baskets have been made for both sides. And now Utah's going to have one last chance to tie this game up. Can they hit the three? They need to tie it up. Here we go. Oh, they got, they got Kaku. Ah, they're going to have to call another timeout. Nobody was open. Oh, yeah, true. They do have Kyle Corver. And he's been hitting a quite amount of threes in this game. So, if I, actually, if I was me, I'm going to look for Kyle Korver to get this three. I didn't know he was actually on the court right now. So, yeah, they do have Kyle Korver. So, either Joe Ingles or Kyle Korver should be the one to take this last shot to tie the game. I understand what Donovan Mitchell brings and stuff. and definitely should start a team. But the guys are shooting poorly from the field, as I've already said. So, yeah, Kyle Korver or Joe Ingles. And it looks like they're trying to get Kyle Korver open on this play because they know he can get a three. But Harden, defensively, he's actually made quite he's made a pretty good effort defensively. He's, you definitely could tell he's putting effort on defense. CP3, he's been trying to do his thing. You know, he's, he's hit a couple good shots in this game. Uh, Capella hasn't been nearly as dominant as I thought he was going to be. Then again, you have to give credit to Gobert being in the paint. This Gobert has been blocking everything. Everything that comes his way, he's swatting it. So, and he's making it tough for um, Capella to really do much in this game. I can definitely say the Utah Jazz have been aggressive. They have definitely been aggressive this game. But now, Utah has no timeouts left. They have got to inbound this ball, and they have got to get up a three attempt. They've got to tie this game. They had to use it last timeout. You got to get somebody open. Somebody got to get open. Five seconds. Mitchell for three. He can't get it. And Tucker gets fouled again. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Don. That was a horrible, horrible. That was a complete chaotic mess for the Utah Jazz. They were trying to get the ball in. Nobody was able to get open, but Donovan Mitchell had to get that pass and immediately took the three. And he missed it, of course, because he's been having a tough shooting night. P.J. Tucker gets the rebound. And with 6.5 seconds left, all P.J. has to do is make one free throw, and the game's over. If he makes this free throw, the game is over. Nothing Utah can do. And the Houston Rockets are going to take this 3-0. It's over. I know with 6 seconds, anything can happen. But Utah doesn't have a timeout left. Had they had a timeout, you might have a chance. But they're going to have to go full court and find some way. Donovan Mitchell, he struggled, but he put up 34 points tonight. But that was not the shot they were looking for. They were trying to screen out to get a play for Kyle Corbin. He could not get off them. What a defensive play from... The Rockets, five seconds. You don't have anything else. I don't know what Rubio's doing. He's just shooting the jump shot. One second left. Game's over. And the Houston Rockets are going to take game three. They're now up 3-0 in the series. This is about to be a sweep, ladies and gentlemen. Utah just gave their best shot against the Houston Rockets, and they could not win. This was their best efforts, man. They had plenty of times down the stretch where they were leading in this game. 
Harden was shooting absolutely terribly. Terrible. This was probably his worst shooting game of his career, possibly. I'm not sure. 3 of 20 from the field. Yes, this is definitely his worst shooting game of his career. But, man, this is tough. This is really tough. Utah had their opportunity to win this game. They've had chances. They made some clutch shots down the field. But they could not stop these guys down the stretch. Harden made a couple good shots in the fourth quarter that ended up getting them this game. P.J. Tucker definitely on the offensive and the defensive Fine. playing great defense and getting them offensive rebounds really helped in this final moment. So, congrats to Houston. They know they need to sweep this because they're waiting for Golden State in the second round. Golden State's going to have to play five games, and you know Houston needs four. They want to sweep so they can get that extra rest, and hopefully they'll be able to close down game four. That's all I got for you guys. I'm out.